Hey everyone, it's Teresa Stanley, the Boss Girl on the Go, and as promised, I am going to bring you a small series on what we call athleisure. And so being able to go from the gym to the office to the next sweaty session, and as you guys know right now, I'm training for a World Cup in Taekwondo, and that's pretty much my life. So it's basically three or four training sessions a day, and then in between that, having to meet clients and, you know, go home and be at the studio, work on the website, uh, take calls for the studio, do all that kind of stuff. And so I don't really get during the week an opportunity to put on real dress clothes a lot of times. I'm kind of going in and out and having to work on more of a casual basis. And so I'm going to show you guys how um, to make that work and all the tips and tricks with that. All right, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the to and from the gym. And so I'm going to give you a couple of comparisons. So what I see a lot is uh, women who are, again, I'm talking to um, women who are doing a lot of things all at once. And so they're, you know, um, maybe going from the gym to preschool to their business to so on. So it's not just like gym home. Um, it's you're, you know, you're doing some working around. Okay. So there's a difference in how you may want to address um, going from those places because remember at all times we're always promoting our brand through our style. We have that 10 seconds to make a first impression and that first impression may have to be at Walmart. And so um, I'm just going to use an example of what I see is a lot of them just like, you know, they got their, they got their gym wear on, they got their gym wear on and then they got their gym shoes on and then they just throw a hoodie over and then they have like, you know, people are like, oh, gym hair don't care. Okay, well, you know what, that might be okay if you're 18 and it doesn't actually matter. But, um, you know, not that, I love my Lululemon hoodie. I really do. But, when you have this outfit and it's, you know, now you're having to meet a client or you run into somebody who's a potential client, it, it may not be the best look that you want to put forward. So I'm just going to show you an example of a way that you could take, you know, gym leggings and, you know, putting a jacket over and making it just a little bit more... Um, business friendly, brand friendly. So, all right. So I'm going to swap my hoodie for this really great sweater, and it's just a light knit sweater, so it's still gonna do me the favor of keeping me warm. I'm just gonna flip it over like that, and then I like this one as well because it goes over my bum, so it just makes it feel a little bit more put together. I'm gonna undo my gym hair, don't care, and just give it a shake. And you know what? Get yourself some really good dry shampoo and you could just kind of fix your hair as you go out of the gym. I am going to trade my bright orange Nike gym shoes. And even though I love my Nikes, I again don't want to look like I'm at the gym uh, when I want to do business. And so I'm gonna switch those up. And you guys have always seen my amazing sparkly casual shoes. And now, I'm a little bit more put together. I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. I got my leggings. I'm still wearing my Lululemon line pants. Still wearing my sports bra. Still, it literally took me, what, 10 seconds to do that? But I just look maybe a little bit more put together, but I'm still warm. I'm still comfortable. I'm still wearing flats. And I just put a little bit more intention. And as you guys know, I uh, made my leopard print. And so I actually picked a sweater that has my brand in it so people will recognize me. And that's the idea behind... Um, business branding and personal branding and styling your brand from the inside out is about people recognizing you as well and so that they will know, get to know you because people will do business with the people. All right, so I'm just going to show you another outfit and I just wanted to give props to uh, Unique. Uh, they're a brand out of Salt Lake City and my friend Benny, who I met when I was at a Wells convention down there doing his boxing classes, he has a cool brand for women who just want to be empowered and, and fit in at the gym and um, you know are of different shapes and sizes and so their brand is really about um, in, you know letting everybody be healthy and so you can check that out um, I'll put the link for that in my Instagram and you can check them out so I got these fun leggings and cool leggings are a way to make a statement they're also fun to wear in the gym and so you can see these are really bold, really fun. And so what I'm doing is, I, you know, I got my tank top, and I'm, you know, I'm sweaty at the gym, but I gotta go. Don't have time to switch out of them, or I don't want to bother to switch out of them. And so I like these Lululemon tanks because they do come down a little bit. I can tie them up, or I can actually bring them down for when I'm out and about. And so all I'm gonna do to kind of bring up the um, style in this 
is take this great scarf that I got from That's a Wrap boutique here. In, um, it's a local store or a local shop in um, Edmonton. And then I'm just going to throw my denim jacket over. And now you can see my leggings and my workout wear. And I don't know if you guys can see in the camera. I just I flipped my gym shoes to my Converse ballet flats. Go from gym wear, a sweaty wear, to a little bit more put together, a little more chic. And you know, I'd feel comfortable connecting with a client like the way I am. And they would know, oh, you're probably doing your run around, or you've come from yoga, or come from your workout. But I feel like I've put a little bit more effort into how I look. And you know what? If you can't shake your hair and go. There's nothing wrong with a sleek ponytail. Take the time to redo your ponytail after the gym. Take, get that dry shampoo I told you guys about and good to go. I'll show you guys in a, another look. So one last look that I have for you guys is just changing it up with a soft blazer. So you might not think blazer and active wear together, but again, this is athleisure. And so it's a hybrid between being comfortable and being chic and being able to move around in your, in your um, clothes. And so I went from gym wear, which was the tank that I was just wearing before. I got some Lululemon speed tights here. Um, or no, these aren't speed tights. I can't remember what they are. They got kind of that high waist. I use them usually for running or in the wintertime I'll wear more long pants. And then, you know what, I just switched up the hoodie. Instead of wearing just a plain old hoodie, I put on this fabulous, it's um, a, kind of a soft open front blazer by Calvin Klein. And it's casual enough because it's not super structured. I also love it because it's a little bit longer. And so if you're conscious about, you know, your leggings um, and not, you know, covering your butt with your leggings, you don't have to, but it's, you know, when you're kind of trying to be a little bit more work appropriate or being able to go from different place to different place, um, covering your butt over your leggings is something that I would probably do. Um, and so it, again, my color is leopard print. And so I picked a blazer that kind of fit with that. If you guys can see in the video, I changed up my running shoes and I just put on some casual Stan Smiths by Adidas and let my hair down. Um, I might throw on a necklace here and I can literally go from the gym, from the training studio to a meeting and still feel comfortable about it. Again, this is not something that I would show up to like a networking event or to speak or to, you know, do some um, serious business. This is all about maintaining a really great um, put together look that's still reflective of your brand that you could still be okay with meeting somebody out on the street or meeting somebody at preschool or meeting somebody at, I don't know, whatever, you know, in more of a casual environment and still being, you know, um, put together, but not stuffy or feeling uncomfortable. So this is these are things that if you guys work from home, rather than being stuck in your pajamas all day, this is a great way so that you can you know kind of to, to and from Skype meetings and um, you know you're you're in your office so you want to be comfortable. You don't necessarily want to wear a suit, but you still want to feel the part. And so athleisure is a really great option, and it's really really in in style right now. So I highly recommend. Um, taking a peek at um, just some different ideas and you can just stick and um, stick to my Instagram and I'll be doing a few more of those over the time um, into September because of my training and my extremely um, intense training schedule going towards the ITF World Cup in Netherlands. So um, I hope that helped you guys this Fashion Friday. Um, stay tuned. I am going to be starting an another day blogging and so we'll be focusing on uh, health and beauty which I'm really really excited about um, and we got some really cool stuff going on uh, for September so tune in check it out if you love this video please share sharing is caring uh, follow me on Instagram at the boss girl on the go and Facebook at the boss girl on the go um, and yeah so have a great day and we'll see you next week on fashion Friday